Welcome to the Best Buy presentation. Please join us in welcoming Lindsay Harris, Senior Manager, Early Careers, and Cleo Brown, Hiring and Talent Lead from Best Buy. Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, as you just heard, my name is Lindsay Harris. I'm a senior manager of our early careers team here at Best Buy Corporate, and I am joined with the lovely Cleo Brown. Hi everyone, I'm Cleo Brown and I am the hiring and training lead in Market 79 of New York City for Best Buy. Yes. So thank you so much for joining our info session. We'll kick it off here um, with a, a little bit of our company history, our guiding behaviors, um, and what you all are hopefully here for, the internship program overview, um, and then go through any questions, concerns you might have about our program, and then a quick update from our lovely UNCF partners about our Best Buy scholarship opportunity. So a little bit about our brand history. So hopefully y'all have heard of Best Buy, um, our brick and mortar stores, our retail stores are all across the United States. Um, and, uh, we um, have been through some, some times. Best Buy has been around since 1966. And uh, our mission here is to enrich the lives of consumers through technology. So whether they come to us in stores or online, or we're invited into their homes. So when we think about Best Buy, it's really all encompassing. And we truly saw that during the pandemic, um, just in the way that everyone had to be home. And so what do you need to stay connected to your communities and to your people? It's it's technology. And so how can we continue to enrich people's lives through that, that vein of connection in whichever way you like, through computers, through tablets and phones and walkie-talkies? Um, there's just a plethora of things that our, our company does. And so we're, we're so excited to share more about who we are. So really defining us and, and inspiring us. And as I said before, um, our purpose is to enrich lives through technology, our rallying cry, kind of what we, we live by to think outside of the box is let's talk about what's possible. Um, I think I say this almost every day in a lot of different conversations, whether it's with hiring managers or with students who are just trying to figure out their path in life. And it's really, let's talk about what's possible. What can you do at Best Buy? Where do you see yourself? Let's think outside of the box about your career um, and how we can get you the experience you're looking for. We also have our guiding behaviors and, and values. Uh, these aren't just things that we say. We truly um, live by these uh, each and every day. The first is unleashing the power of the people, learning from challenge and change, uh, show respect, humility, and integrity. And my favorite, having fun while being the best. Uh, so these are things that, uh, you know, we can see throughout our day-to-day -day interactions with our customers, with our clients, um, uh, with our colleagues. And, um, and we learn from a lot of challenge and change. There have been ups and downs, um, as we've seen with the economy recently, but also the pandemic. And how do you rally together and, uh, and continue to move forward, continue to think outside of the box and serve the communities that we are in? this is a little bit about us, high level. So we have over 100,000 employees um, throughout the United States and Canada. We operate in over 900 stores. And we're a Fortune 100 company, uh, which is pretty exciting. We aim to be, you know, an employer of choice and, and hopefully one day can be number one on this list. We love our communities. Uh, to say that we give back is uh, man, something that we're super proud of. And, um, we sponsor a lot of different nonprofits and local charities on top of our teen tech centers uh, that are really important to us. Uh, so these are centers that are usually housed in libraries, boys and girls clubs, different local nonprofits that support marginalized youth and get them access to top technology. Um, a great example of that is actually our new hub location in Los Angeles, where their teen tech centers are focused around music, um, technology, and also like acting. So it's really getting students the needed skills um, to pursue careers in different avenues of life. But technology is always at the heart of that. 
And throughout the pandemic, we did make some really bold commitments. We realized that corporate atmospheres um, can sometimes be a little stuffy and we need to do better. Uh, so Best Buy has pledged to, for at the corporate level, um, to hire one out of three each of those individuals uh, being female or BIPOC, and then also um, giving $30,000 to a variety of dis de disinvested communities, and then $44 million to expand college prep and career opportunities for BIPOC students. And that's where we come into play. So super exciting um, to be able to talk to you all because uh, we are putting our money where our mouths are and creating opportunities for you. No, the ones that are current scholars. And on top of that, we do have a variety of inclusion, diversity, and equity initiatives. So what I love about Best Buy is our culture and our employee resource groups. So we have them all listed here. And here's kind of a nice slideshow of different events that we host. And uh, this is a picture from our internship a couple of years ago. We had a, a kickball game, recruiters versus interns. I won't let you know who, win, who won, but it, yeah, it definitely wasn't us. Uh, um, but our Black employee resource group is amazing. These groups aren't just for um, people of color, they're for allies, they're for people to learn more, and they're development groups as well. So where you can find community, networking, mentorship, but also development. And Clio um, is actually one of our leads of the Black Employee Resource Group. So they just put on an amazing development day for all of our employees this last week, and, um, which I had the chance to uh, join in as a career panelist, which was amazing. So kind of wherever you're interested in learning or want to learn more about a background, you know, all are welcome in these groups. So I'm going to kick it over to Cleo to talk more about our Best Buy internship program. Thanks, Lindsay. All right. So our team, the Emerging Talent, is focused on connections connecting with and infusing talent into the organization by leveraging community partnerships, traditional internships through universities and non-traditional programs focused on undeserved youth with the intent for full-time employment following intern and program participation. I am like in the background somewhere, not really, but yeah. <laughs> So our emerging talent programs are our high school internships and college internships. So for our high school internships, it allows exposure to career opportunities for teens in the Twin Cities. And the college internships create opportunities for students looking to build their experience or even exposure to areas that they might that might spark their interest. Which I love. All to say that emerging talent, early careers, we're we're here for you. <laughs> that's our that's the bane of our existence. We're here for you. <laughs> And we're the dream team. We are. <laughs> so our internship program, the dates may vary based on your school schedule, but the internship program runs for 10 weeks. Our locations include Seattle, which is our Seattle Tech Center, Richville, Minnesota, which is our home base, our beautiful corporate office in this picture, and DDCs in like California, Ohio, basically all around the country, really. And not only will you gain professional development and networking, but work on like real life skills here at Best Buy. Now, these are the two intern tracks, traditional interns. So you must have a graduation date from fall 2023 to 2024. And this is really for like juniors and non-graduating seniors, which gives students the opportunity to secure a job before graduation, which is awesome. And then we have the summer associates, which are for like our freshmen, sophomore students, graduation dates should fall between fall 2023 and spring 2026. Now the freshmen and sophomores, again, like they wanna gain experience or explore an area that might spark their interest, but we support the entire enterprise. And of course, both are awesome. Both are awesome and open internships for all. <laughs> so here, like I said, we support the entire enterprise and these are our business teams, anywhere from like HR, supply chain, finance, procurement, merchandising, like the, the limit does not exist. <laughs> the limit does not exist. <laughs> 
So what do we look for? We're looking for students who want to work at Best Buy. Here at Best Buy, like we have a phrase that we bleed blue. Like they have leadership qualities that take the initiative, that are dedicated, that want to collab with their peers, collab with new teams, network with others. Um, maybe have technical skills. If you're like top tier in Excel, pivot tables. I am not, but I know <laughs> a lot of you are. This, this is the program for you. Um, and also diversity. Diversity, not only among race and gender, but like among schools, your background, your thought process. Um, and even prior internships or collegiate athletes. Yes, we look for it all. Those students who are super curious. And, and, and like I said before, think outside of the box. We play in the gray a lot. Um, and definitely, I'll go back to the pandemic again. When all your stores shut down, gosh, how, how do you stay relevant, you know, creating curbside pickup uh, that was revolutionary. Every company, um, every retailer is still doing that now yeah. um, because uh, things may, may not go back to the, the way they were before. So we're looking for those individuals who are just super curious uh, and, and just want to learn more because uh, uh, there's a lot to learn here. I've been at Best Buy for four years and I still learn something new every single day. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> and Cleo's been here longer, almost seven <laughs> years. <laughs> oh, seven. <laughs> well, the life of an intern. Basically, like you're going to be able to network among your peers and even as most as the CEO, which is here in our picture, we have an executive speaker series and the CEO comes and talks about her career with Best Buy, her life, and she's literally like one of us. It's like, it felt like talking to a celebrity, but she's so humble and down to earth. Um, volunteering, which will be in person and virtually. Again, networking and our ID&I team is amazing, always having speaker series and our business acumen and professional development. You're gonna have a lot of professional development and just like enough time to do your internship, but also time to reach out, put time on other people's calendars and get to know them. That can help your development and your networking process. Yeah, we really wanna foster that, that training and development for your soft and hard skills. So some of the professional development uh, um, that we did this last summer was uh, growth mindset training, unconscious bias training, empathy training. Empathy is huge in, um, when you're working with people and at the core of Best Buy's business is the, the human being, our, our, our customer, our people are, are how we will move forward and what will also break us in the end. Um, so it's super important for us to kind of get give you a multifaceted um, internship opportunity that not only nurtures um, your uh, technical side of your brain and what you're studying in school, but also those, those soft skills and really learning how to navigate a corporate space and, and work with other people. So now um, I wanted to um, invite our UNCF partners um, to talk more about our Best Buy scholarship. So Crystal, if you are on, or Rayvon. Hi everyone. Um, so um, yeah, thank you so much, Lindsay, for um, that great presentation. And I'm sure um, we have students that are ready to apply right now. So the UNCF Best Buy Scholars Program is a program in partnership with Best Buy to reduce financial barriers um, to college students and to create that pipeline um, for Best Buy of professionals um, poised to assume um, early career um, opportunities in consumer electronics. So our program um, in partnership with Best Buy um, we are right now in the formatting stages for the application. So our application is not actually available right now, but it should be, you should see it on uncf.org um, within the next couple of months, um, hopefully before October 17th. Um, so the program support that we provide is resume building, 
video interviewing tips and strategies so that you're able to be successful in the interview process with Best Buy. Um, the program provides scholarship of up to $20,000. This is renewable for four years. So you're looking at up to 80,000 for freshmen that come into the program in scholarship support. Um, so that's um, basically really, we thank Best Buy for really working hard to reduce those financial barriers. Um, it also provides a college success coach, online learning community, early career coaching, our premier UNCF student leadership conference, which is held May of each year, which will prepare you to basically start that internship strong. Um, Best Buy provides mentors and of course those internship opportunities. So um, our eligibility requirements, are listed here on the slide, but generally um, where the students must be um, US citizen, um, any race, ethnicity. We um, are looking for students from any institution. So it's pretty much open two year and four year, minimum GPA of a 2.5. And it's actually open to all majors. So I'm sure you heard from the earlier presentation that um, major is not a, ma a major focus for Best Buy. And so unless you're looking for a career as a doctor, nurse, vet, or in education, education, you're eligible to apply. Um, and you do have to have demonstrated unmet need the first year of the opportunity. Feel free to contact myself or Revon if you have any questions. Awesome. Thank you, Crystal. Yes, we, yeah. we love our scholars. Um, one of them has spent two summers with us already, and we're looking to get her a third um, internship with Best Buy. So um, uh, we just, we love to hear your stories and what you're interested in and really um, being able to open up some doors for y'all. Um, so now I think we have about 10 minutes left um, for questions. So I would love to open it up to the gallery and feel free in the meantime too, if you're thinking about your question, um, you can put your phone up to the screen. These are all of our wonderful recruiters, including myself and Cleo, um, Amanda Muschenko, Monica Diaz, and Ali Warshaw, who are on my team that will be supporting the actual um, recruitment of our internship up opportunities, but feel free to email us at Emerging Talent or put your phone up, scan their QR code and get um, connected with them via LinkedIn. Otherwise, I'll open it up. Awesome. Thank you so much to the Best Buy team members for this informative presentation. Um, as you guys heard from Crystal, you heard the program lead of Best Buy programs, a lot of exciting opportunities, and we are excited to get you guys involved. So we can go ahead and start with the first question. As a reminder, please feel free to put your questions in the chat box. Utilize that so we can get your questions answered. And I'm actually going to get us started. Um, what does mentorship look like for interns at Best Buy? And how do interns receive feedback? Oh, that's a great question. Um, we take mentorship, I would say, pretty seriously. So each intern is given a mentor within their business team, their business unit, so someone outside of their hiring manager. And then also we partner with our young professionals um, development uh, group. They We call it an inspiring friend. So you're also assigned a second mentor through that program. So it's someone outside of your organization, typically, or your business group, but just another person who is a young professional. So that could be a previous intern from the year before, someone who's three or four years in their journey at Best Buy, but I would say typically closer in age to most of our interns. And those meetings um, have a variety of interactions. We say that mentors need to connect with their interns at least once a week, um, have different topics about development. Uh, among, we also host a variety of career fairs and development sessions in July that is actually dubbed one of those unofficial um, <laughs> like holidays. July is the Young Professionals uh, Development yeah. Month. Yeah, so that's pretty exciting. Um, on top of um, giving feedback, you will have one-on-ones. Um, 
with your manager and then also your mentor. And then we do have a mid-year end, uh, end of the summer evaluation template. To, so you're clued into that right away when you start at Best Buy to really go through what are your goals for the summer? What is the scope of work that you're working on? And how are you coming up against those goals? Are you meeting them? Are you meeting expectations? Or are there opportunities um, for improvement in different areas? We definitely feel like giving feedback is the best way to just get better um, at your job and learn. Awesome. Did you want to follow up, Cleo? I didn't want to cut you off. No. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for that response, Lindsay. Our next question is, with that being said, what are some of the challenges you've seen individuals in this role encounter? Yeah, I would say it is working um, in the gray space, uh, working with ambiguity. Best Buy is ever-changing, and uh, I think even... Cleo is a good example of that. So Cleo is not directly on my team. Um, our My previous uh, recruiting coordinator uh, left Best Buy. And so Cleo has actually been on a stretch assignment at, with our team. So her role is actually dedicated to her stores in New York City. But uh, I'm in Minnesota and she is working virtually <laughs> on our team, learning our process, learning about college recruiting, um, learning about all of our programs, our spreadsheets, our systems. Systems. And it's been a little crazy and there's a lot of gray space. So I kind of just throw her into things and uh, she's amazing and very proactive in asking questions, but it, it can be very ambiguous if like Cleo, you can share a, a little bit about being on our team. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, um, you know, it could be some students, like if they, if they don't feel comfortable asking questions and they're like scared you know, that might be some issues that they, they run into, but, you know, we're always encouraging, like, ask questions and we're always asking them, like, how do they feel? How do they feel about, you know, their work? And if they need help with anything, any assistance, like, please reach out, let us know. Um, or even if, like, we can be that liaison and, like, talk to their manager as well. Um, I ask a lot of questions because I don't like to be confused. <laughs> so, and I don't like to get anything wrong. Um, I'm very type A, so... Yeah, just like learning a lot of spreadsheets. Like I said, Excel, I'm not, I don't think that I'm the best, but I do get it. And if I don't, like I'll Google it. Like I follow Excel page and like just learning tips and trips, tips and trips to like get through it faster. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of curve walls. Like every day is something new. Like do not ever expect that Monday through Friday is going to be the same. <laughs> it will never be. It's a, it's a lot of playing in the gray. So just being prepared and, and being um, confident to ask those questions and be really curious. And there are no dumb questions. There are no silly questions. If you don't ask, um, uh, then uh, it, it's almost your loss because asking is it's never annoying. And people at Best Buy are extremely helpful and uh, uh, they love the interns. Like they love interns. Like everyone is vying for an intern at Best Buy. So um, you'll be supported here to say the least. Awesome, Lindsay. And thank you guys so much, you and Cleo, for providing some ways how interns can overcome those challenges that they face. Um, so our next question is, what do standout interns look like in this position? And what are some characteristics that the Best Buy team will be looking for? Ooh, yeah, I think kind of what we mentioned, a curiosity, um, a passion for, for learning about Best Buy. Um, we're a very interesting company, you know, it, born and raised in Minnesota. Um, I had never thought of working at Best Buy because I just thought of it as a retailer and I didn't want to work in stores because I'd done my retail, you know, time for about five years. And uh, learning more about the company, we're ever changing. You know, there are tons of companies that have folded the circuit cities, the radio shacks and Best Buy continues to grow and learn and ideate. And so individuals who kind of know our background and, and want to bleed blue, um, are, our CEO is, is, um, has been with Best Buy for over 25 years. She started as a financial analyst, which is an entry level position. And now she's our, our first female CEO, the fifth in the company's history, like 
to me, that's amazing. Um, students who are, are passionate about what they're studying, like, why are you interested in finance? Why do you want to do this work? Like, what is your story? And then those soft and hard skills of uh, if you're a good communicator, if you um, can learn from challenge and change and not get super frustrated and disappointed, like fail, fail fast, fail again and learn from it. Um, and then the technical skills, you know, PowerPoint, anything in the Microsoft Office suite is great. Um, knowing how to, I would say, maybe assert your presence in the virtual world. Is that something that we're all still working on? Um, as some roles are hybrid and could be in the Twin Cities, um, while others may be virtual. So just making sure that you're, you're in the mix um, and asking really good questions. And um, don't be a wallflower here. We're, we're here to support you. You, um, and you'll be amazed at, at how much you'll grow in that 10 weeks. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. And you mentioned some very valuable points as it pertains to the type of internship. You mentioned hybrid and virtual and in-person. For the hybrid and the virtual internship positions, how do you make sure teammates get a chance to connect and build a report since they may or may not be fully um, remote for the internship experience? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, Cleo, do you want to share some of the, the things we did this summer? <laughs> um, I, well, again, like the speaker series, we had lots and lots. I mean, my calendar was stacked. There's always something going on. And like sometimes, you know, your workload is really heavy one day. So you have the option, like it's put on your calendar. You can accept it. You can, you know, put a maybe, maybe I can make it. Maybe I can do the first 15 first 30 minutes but like also we encourage you to try to get to every series and even like speak at the series like write in the chat raise your hand like answer a question like be present show your face speak up like we love that and we're making everyone feel comfortable we always have icebreakers like everyone's laughing everyone's having a good time and everyone's like networking and becoming friends with each other. Um, networked with so many interns. Again, them just like putting time on my calendar and getting to know them. And again, like they're all across the United States. Like I'm in New York, Lizzie's in Minnesota, they're in Florida, they're everywhere. I'm like, oh, I never even heard of that part of Ohio. Wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's, you know, setting up coffee chats. Um, we also have like an intern teams channel. So where there's like the professional one and then like the key key one. Um, so in our, we actually still have an intern on my team. Her name is Evelyn. She set up different like chat sessions, um, connection points for individuals who were maybe like in a, a hub city. Um, so if there's like 10 interns in California, like, okay, here's all the contact information. Can you all meet? Um, we did have a, a couple in California go to Disney World together or do the drive up to Minnesota. So we're always thinking of ways, I think, to keep people connected. Um, we also send out some amazing welcome packages and snack packages and treats throughout the summer, um, just to add that extra layer of, of comfort and, and feeling like we're, we're family. Awesome. Extra points for creativity there, Lindsay. Yeah. <laughs> so, we, we try. We yes. try to think outside the box. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So as we give the scholars some time to kind of formulate their questions, we remind you to go ahead and put those questions in that chat box so that we can get those questions answered. But in the meantime, please definitely feel free to go ahead and take a picture um, so you are able to reach out to individuals that are shown to kind of get more information to learn more about Best Buy and what they have to offer. Yes, please reach out. Uh, even if you're you're still unsure, like come at us. We'll we'll help you. <laughs> and if we don't have any more questions, like I said, give the scholars a couple of more seconds to formulate those questions. Um, we are good to go for this session.